return can be calculated in two ways we can calculate the dollar return which is the difference between the benefit and the cost or we can calculate the percentage return which is the dollar return divided by the cost dollar returns are difficult to use if we are comparing alternative investments because the size of the investments might differ we will therefore focus on percentage returns in this topic there is another sense in which we can talk about different kinds of return we can calculate the realized return which is the historical or actual return received over a period of time we can calculate the expected return which is the return we expect to receive in the future if we buy a share or we can calculate the required return which is the minimum return that we require in order to make it worthwhile making the investment in the next few modules we will calculate the realized return and the expected return from an investment and later on when we talk about portfolio theory we will turn our attention to required return